This video explains how to install new clutch plates in your 50 or 70 auto clutch. Um, I'll also be touching on the subject of how to install your HD clutch, like the TB heavy duty auto clutch if you want to buy one of those. Now I got all the uh, eight screws out around the cover over there. Let's see if I can uh, pop this cover off. Loose. Ah, gross. It starts still leaking all over the place. It's all over this cover. And pull this straight off. Alright. So this is the uh, the clutch assembly. Very simple. Right, so it's got all these parts. Alright, put this old torn up or used gasket off of here. Ah, piece of crap. Clean up all this ripped up gasket material. Obviously before you put on your new one. Piece of shit. Alright, so now you remove your clutch assembly using these with these take out these three screws. There we go. Take these three screws out. Your your motor might have four if it's a newer one. Four of these built screws. You can just pop the cover off. Yeah, so there we go. That's the inner clutch. Pull off this gasket here. See how the centrifugal oil filter is doing? Oh, this thing is stuck on here real good. No wonder it didn't want to come off. I'll deal with that later then. Alright. And then you uh, just peel back this little piece in here that's the locking tab. Let's get a screwdriver between it and that nut. Then use an impact wrench and the correct tool for the clutch nut. So all there is to that. Once you got that nut off, turn it off by hand. You should be able to just pull the clutch assembly right off. Drive straight up. There you go. That's all it is. And now if you uh, got your HD clutch, like the TP part, you just slide off this uh, this little bearing, or gear, I'm sorry, what am I thinking? And the, uh, the sleeve inside of it, slide on your new clutch, and bolt it all back up the way it was before. Now if you're going to replace your, your clutch plates, just get a flat screwdriver. Find the end of the, the circuit. Just pop this off. See this? I'm doing this one-handed, so it's pretty simple. Now this is going to fly apart because I'm doing this one-handed. That's the way it goes. Yeah, that didn't really fly apart. Alright. There's that. Clutch plate. Fiber plate. Holy shit! My plates are really burned up. Look at that. Look. Get this other plate out of here. Okay. And at this point, you just uh, throw on your new plates. Very simple. Where'd I put them? There you go. New plates. And just drop them right in. Simple as that. Drop this back in. The metal parts really can't wear out very much, but the fibers do. Oh crap, I just put in the same fiber. <laughs> that would have been bad. Yeah, put, put your new parts in. There you go. Like I say, said, uh, the metal parts don't really wear too much. So unless they're like seriously warped or something, probably put them back on. Alright, um, then, 
Yeah, you can kind of see that. All right. Once you got my parts, put it back in. Let's get your stir clip. Stick that in there by hand. Make sure it all snaps in all the way around. Now that it's all put back together, pick it up, fly right back on where it came off. Make sure that, there you go, now it's engaged. Alright, take, take the nut, or the, that washer. The locking tab, drop that in there. Take the uh, tapered washer. The, the side that's, um, the way it's pointing goes out. It's usually labeled, so the outside, that side goes out. Make sure that it's tapered out, not towards the motor. Put your clutch nut, drop it onto there. Spin that on. Alright, I like to torque these to about 20 foot pounds. Only tighten it to line up the locking tab. That tab over there, right there is lined up. All I gotta do is get your uh, little screwdriver, stick it behind there. Bend it over. There we go, locked in. And now you go ahead and put this cover on. And screw this down. Then you get uh, this piece. Make sure that you have your little uh, dowel in there with the spring. Just drop it into the bearing. Then your clutch deactivation arm. Alright, and this is supposed to be set up so that it points exactly to the center of the clutch. You see that? And even if you're one spline off, it's pretty far, it's pretty noticeable. So you should have it exactly pointed to the center of the clutch. And you get your uh, little three bearing plate and drop that in here into that cam plate. Then I'm um, ready to reinstall the cover. I just gotta clean up this gasket first. Alright, now you got all your gasket compound cleaned off or whatever you got cleaned off. Drop the uh, centering dowels in. Why is this not going in? There we go. Both of them. And you uh, put your gasket on. Line up the dowels. And then you can uh, install your cover after you clean up that ceiling. And I just drop the cover, the cover straight on. that, just put your uh, eight screws in.